Yes, so today we're going to be painting a brown trout by request of my good friend Mackie Red, who's just come back from a nice fishing trip. This brown trout is, um, yeah, full of colour as you can see. I've used Da Vinci Eye to sketch the outline of the fish and at the moment I'm going to start working in from the back so I'm going to carefully just with water paint around the fish and then as you saw in the picture try and get this uh, effect of light coming through dark water hitting some seaweed at the bottom um, and the fish I'm going to do last so these are the colors I'm using there's Indian yellow in there, there's sepia, burnt uh, sienna, and this is a mix at the top here of neutral tint and cobalt blue turquoise. Um, the paper's, paper's quite wet, so I'm trying to be careful about painting around the fish. In the left hand side I've used more of the turquoise because I want some variation in this watercolour. And underneath the fish, the light has got a lovely luminous effect. So I've used some leaf green here with Indian yellow, but I'm going to blend it a lot so that it looks like um, the light is coming from behind the fish. So the paint is still quite wet, and I'm going to let the colours just run into each other. So at the moment I'm adding some um, darker brown colour to the front. Uh, you can use a brown madder or burnt umber. Choice of colours is really a personal thing, you know, but they blend, they must blend nicely together. Here I'm putting in some of the rays of the sun, just using a wet brush. The colour is still moist and I'm taking the paint off and then dabbing the brush on some tissue paper so that it's fairly dry and then uh, this creates this look of sunlight coming through. So the paper is still drying, um, I'm taking off some colour at, at the front because that's where these um, plants are going to go. So it will develop from there. When it's all dry, I should start doing the fish. So starting the uh, underside of the fish, I'm using a mix of quinacridone gold, which is a special colour. As you can see, it's very powerful. And I'm going to tone it down the shadows underneath using Payne's grey or neutral tint, as they call it, and some uh, brown colour using a dark sienna. Whichever browns you choose, it's it's not so important in this case. And we're going to try and get the uh, detail then of the fins later on. But at the first moment, I'm going to blend the quinacridone gold with this darker colour to give the effect of this uh, shadow. So I'm using a um, rigger brush here. It's a fish tail. And you can get a good point on it, although it's quite a wide brush, which is necessary for all of this uh, stuff I'm doing at the moment. Obviously the fish has got um, many scales, we're not going to try and put on all of those, but it has 
has got these brown markings. And we'll do those later on. The head of the fish has got this subtle green tone. I'm using some leaf green there with this quinacridone gold. I'm trying to leave the eye white at the moment. So I'm blending in some of the green and when it's dry it will uh, look a bit different to this. So at the moment just trying to get the background colour in. And I shan't be doing too much on the top of the fish because there's hardly any colour there. And I shall leave it white until last minute as well. the fish I put a, a light mix of uh, Indian yellow on in the middle I've left practically white and you can see here this uh, the jaws of the fish has got a golden glow so I'm using the quinacridone gold to give that effect and in the middle I'm leaving that fairly blank at the moment hardly have any colour because the fish has got this silver sheen so we want it to look as though the light is uh, playing there. Putting in some details with the fins and going to start developing then some of the smaller details. So starting to put in some of the markings of the fish, obviously there are a very great deal, uh, number of them. Using a dark um, burnt umber here with a bit of um, Alison Crimson mixed in, just to give a little bit of variation. They're not all round, so we can splodge them up a bit, uh, squash them, push them up. Each one of these has got a slight halo around it of white, but I'm not going to be able to uh, put that in. The only way to do something like that would be to take the underground colour off with something like an ear swab. Um, then you've got a little white uh, area and then dab in the middle, but I wasn't, it's not a technical drawing, it's a watercolour, so just trying to get the effect of these. Um, these markings, I put them fairly close to where they were on the actual picture using Da Vinci Eye. So here we are, it's more or less finished. I put in some colours at the uh, bottom here, the light is coming nicely through. Some weed is catched um, being caught in the light. Um, I think all in all it's fairly accurate at the same time it is it's a watercolor so hope you enjoyed it and have a go yourself <laughs> and see you next time thanks to Mackie Red again for the backing track it was actually for him I did this he's a keen fisherman been catching some of these things recently bye for now